See out of the camera? Hairs go all over the place. Hmm? Okay. All right, y'all, it's Keith. I'm here in the garage, and I got a couple new items from Burley. MX style uh, foot pegs. These things right here. So here are the Burley brand MX style pegs. I don't know if they come in any other color but black, but black's what I want anyway. You can see they have a nice serrated edge, just like a, a dirt bike foot peg. That should grip the boots real nice. Let's go and get those things on there. Alright, so here's the bike. And here are the foot pegs. I don't necessarily mind these foot pegs. Um, I don't love them either. My biggest issue with them being that uh, I grind these little peg feelers. And I know that that is what they're there for. Take a look at them. I've been eating them up quite a bit. But with these new pegs there, um, I should have to shouldn't have to worry about these sticking out so far. The surface being so easy to slide off of. I'm hoping these MX style pegs keep my feet planted when I'm wearing my boots. So after removing the snap ring and this little bolt thing here this guy has a little spring there it is washer but now it's time to go ahead and put in a new one and in the new it's not gonna work it's not long enough interesting thing here this little bracket thing won't fit because there's not enough clearance in that spot. Like the bolt hole's not gonna line up. The old peg is longer so it actually fits in and will rotate. As it seems to be with most things I touch, um, nothing installs the way they say it's going to. I had to cut a bunch of material off of this support piece here so that I can even get this to bolt up. I realized that I didn't cut enough material off because this won't actually fold up like the stock peg. So I still gotta remove a little bit of material right here to make this thing work. There's the peg installed compared to that one out there. And just so you can see how much longer that piece, or shorter that piece is than the stock piece. There you go right there. And it took a whole bunch of grinding to even these pieces up. The front of that bracket that the peg fits into is uh, about, about half an inch longer. It took about five minutes, not that big of a deal. A little bit of grinding, a little bit of cutting. Quite a bit shorter than the old pegs, which you see laying down on the ground. I love my little auxiliary fuel bottle. Pretty steezy, I like the way they look. Next up is uh, to install the burly bar to get rid of this bar here. And this bar, by the way, is a stock bar. I just turned it down. I didn't like the height of it. We'll get rid of this thing later and see what it feels like. Until then. Okay, so I covered up the tank, took the handlebars off which is fairly straightforward. Getting the grips off was harder than actually getting the handlebars off this thing. So I come out, these guys, the Clubmans. I was told that they thought it would fit without a riser. These bars, even though they do look like they fit, don't. They run into the triple. What I'm gonna have to do to use these bars, which I was kind of contemplating anyway, was turn these and run them reverse. I run the bars like that. Gets me a little bit of height over the stock bars. Should be pretty comfy. See how that rides. We're deciding to go ahead and raise the triple trees, thus raising the front of the bike a little bit. Went ahead and positioned the clubmans. They're about a couple inches forward, and maybe an inch and a half down from where the bars were previously. My back is tired just from trying to fit this shit, and I'm wondering if this is gonna be too bad on my back. The other issue I'm running into, these bars aren't dimpled like the stock bars, and by dimpled, here's a stock bar, and if you look at it, it's dimpled, so that way the controls fit, so I'm having issues fitting the stock controls on these bars, so I gotta figure that out.
So the Dremel tool came back out again. This time it's because this piece right here, when the bars aren't dippled, they don't allow enough room for the cables and thus you can't actually get these clamps on around. I had to go ahead and notch the little piece there in the bottom of the control. I'll have to hit it with some uh, paint here to whatever. Deburred it there. But that should allow it to sit flush against the bar. So I made the appropriate cuts to both sides. You can see the cables are tucked real nice and tight underneath the handlebars. And this is kind of what you're looking at right there with them installed. I couldn't pitch the angle any farther forward otherwise it was going to touch the top of the uh, clamps there on the fork. That's what it looks like. I got a couple more things to tighten down and I'll be back. First is these grips. I mean, the foot pegs are super grippy. I almost dropped the bike because I couldn't get my foot off the peg. The position I'm in is like way pitched forward. My hands are actually farther forward than my feet. It's different, I guess. So far, I leaned over the front. The bike feels really nimble. And I feel like I'm going to drop this bike at any time simply because I can't get my feet off the pegs. Up on the highway here. how solid I feel on the seat. First thing I noticed, I adjusted the pegs a little too high up. I can't um, really get underneath the shift very well. I feel like I'm sitting on my lungs so far forward. Why would it be so bad if, I, uh, if, if these club ends came in a reverse position where they still bent down like they do, but just backwards? Right now I am stretched the fuck out. The bars are ahead of the triple tree, sitting farther forward than what you would get with clip-ons. I wonder how well my back will hold up riding like this. And that is work to get my feet off these grips for pegs. Thanks, man. Just got the thumbs up from somebody who likes the way the bike looks. He doesn't know I almost died. I'm trying to get up to my driveway. Yeah, my bladder can't handle this right now. I gotta get back to the house. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I can really hang off the bike with these handlebars though. I really have to adjust the angle of these pegs. I cannot get my feet off of them. And then when I do, I still can't, or I still can't initiate a gear shift in my pants. It's coming. I bet the bottom of my boots look like this axe murder right now. They definitely stay in place. That's what I was looking for. Mike feels really agile. It's funny because uh, I had to raise the triple up over the forks. The front of the bike's actually higher than it was yesterday. I thought that would have slowed the steering down, but I guess all my weight being so far over the front, the opposite effect. And now I'm starting to feel it in my back as I try to get off my bladder. I have my delicious West Side Rye Ale here. Now that I'm done riding, <laughs> I can have a tasty brew. Tasty. 